are going to be working with pumpkin. I'm so excited. I, I am too, because I don't really need an excuse at all any time of year to have pumpkin. But naturally, around the holidays, it's a really great way to get the pumpkin winter pie squash. on Thanksgiving. Exactly. Come on, how can you beat that? So today we're going to be making vegan pumpkin pie tartlet, or we like to call it a pilot. Everything that we're doing today is made just in the blender, really easy. You dump in all the ingredients, you blend it up. We're going to pour it on top of the pumpkin pie crust, and uh, you let it sit in the refrigerator and it's ready to eat. So we'll start here with the pumpkin puree. Now we were using a pumpkin puree straight from a can, but it is all natural, no fillers or anything. So if you're using canned pumpkin, you want to make sure that it's legit pumpkin, just pumpkin. You can also roast your own pumpkin and make the puree, but it's a few extra steps. So I tried getting Maggie to do that this morning. She was you're going to make me cut up Jack? My jack o' lantern, please. No. All right, what's next? So, so next we're adding a light coconut milk. Now this is nice because it'll give it sort of a creamy flavor, but it's still dairy free. So it's great for people that have dairy sensitivities or just want to live more of a vegan lifestyle. And you know, a lot of people say stuff to us and ask questions about the fat in like coconut milk, but it's, it's a different saturated fat than animal fat. So it's a medium chain fatty acid, we're gonna get technical here. <laughs> a little bit. Break it down for it, 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 it's still as different in the body than animal saturated fat, which is a long chain mm -hmm. fatty acid. Um, and it's actually quite healthy for you. So it's really completely a different profile. Exactly. Now, what the heck is this there? So, oh. Oh. We're adding one of your favorites. Don't lie. We're adding some favorite. Irish moss to thicken it up. Now this is a go-to thickener for me. If you've never used Irish moss before, Sarah and I broke down how to make the Irish moss gel in a previous video, so hit up the link below to get a little Irish moss action. But um, it's gonna thicken up this pie beautifully. And it's vegan, it's raw, all natural, gluten-free, so it's pretty awesome. So, so we got a good base going. What's so we that? have the base, and now we need to kind of sweeten this baby up. Yeah, we're gonna add actually first a little bit of coconut oil. Again, just how we talked about with the light coconut milk, coconut oil is actually a healthy fat that stores as energy in the body. So it so goes one straight again, to- it's, it's a whole different profile than maybe your typical butter that you use in pies. Exactly, so this is gonna help thicken it, give it a little bit of richness, it's instead of butter. So we're using right. it instead of what you would be using dairy butter for. Um, next for sweetening, we're gonna use a mixture of dates and maple syrup. So with the dates, it's um, we soaked these overnight. Which really softened the dates, so when you're adding them to a blender, you can whip them around and you get the sweetener of a whole food, which is in the dates, uh, with a little bit of the extra sweet. Right. Now, now maple syrup? Come on. All right. This is the real deal. Please, this goes on with pumpkin so perfectly. All right, so. And we only use the pure stuff. We're not talking the aunt, we're not gonna say her name, but. <laughs> That stuff's just made with corn syrup. We really want the this real, real deal. Straight from a tree. In fact, That's I think somebody maple tapped syrup. the maple tree in the back here. Of the house. I, I had know. Sarah out there earlier. She was working. <laughs> and now we're gonna add some of the flavor to it. So we're gonna bring in some vanilla extract. Mm. You can never really go wrong with vanilla extract. In fact, um, a professional food person once told me Vanilla can actually give the sense of sweetness. So um, I'm not saying to go and add, you know, cups worth of vanilla extract in your but you baking. Definitely want but to keep that tablespoon. It, it, it adds it adds a nice flavor more than just the vanilla. And um, we're gonna next add some pumpkin pie spice, and we go the full deal, full Monty on our pumpkin. You can pie see spice. our spice spread right here. I mean, Sarah does not mess around. So we have in there cinnamon. Ginger, cloves, cloves, egg. and allspice. So we go for all five. I know a lot of recipes, they only use a couple, but we're all in here at Coconut. We're about spicy. Mm -hmm. And the last thing we're gonna use is called mesquite. And this adds a little bit of that caramelization. It's a, one of those crazy new age superfoods also. And if you haven't heard of it before, it actually comes from a tree that's uh, native to arid regions. And it adds like a maltiness, kind of caramel. A great caramel, caramel flavor. Right. So it'll give sort of an extra depth to the pumpkin pie filling. So now that all our spices, our pumpkin, our base, our coconut milk, our mesquite are all up in the Vitamix, we're gonna blend it into a well incorporated, probably at least 30 seconds. And it may be the hardest part of this whole recipe because we require a little something when you're blending up. 
Let's show them how you do it, Sarah. Ready for the blending dance? Let's do it. All right, now that everything's blended for our pumpkin pie filling, it's time for the best part, assembling the pie lids. So we have our pre-made tarts down here as well as some slightly candied pumpkin seeds. You're gonna wanna make both of these. So if you haven't yet already, check out our video links below for how to make the raw uh, pie crust as well as the slightly roasted candied pumpkin seeds. Now Sarah is literally taking the blender filled with the pumpkin pie filling that we just made two seconds ago and just ladling it in to each pie lid. It is so easy and it's so tasty to do. It is absolutely delightful. So now that you've filled the pie lids, it's time to garnish. And we have our toasted pumpkin seeds here, which make it look so pretty and give it a little extra pizzazz for that final taste explosion. And I also recommend maybe some cocoa nibs. Oh my gosh, I love it. Feeling adventurous. Even dust it with cinnamon on top. This is your chance to go crazy, people. Have fun and enjoy.